So we've just been informed the last couple of days we've got seven more weeks of lockdown, which uh, it's a long time. And, you know, I feel for people, it's, you know, we're not being asked to go and hold a gun and shoot people, but we are being asked to do things that we wouldn't normally do. And in particular for our industry, we're used to being creative. Um, we're very, very accustomed to, well, social contact. And of course, at the moment, social contact is the one thing that we can't do. So I've decided I've got a second salon here in my main shop in Broadmead in Bristol at Barber Brown. And I'm just going to show you around. It's been used as a teaching premises and we've used it to teach. This is our colour bar and our basins. And behind here is our hot water. I'm going to take you through how to pick or how to maintain your hot water. It's a really important thing for a salon because you, you can buy models out there. And, and, and if you just want it simple, easy and done, do that. You know, there's some great products out there. but. It's just as simple and easy if you kind of got a few tips and tricks and hints and know what to do. So at the moment, we've got a load of old freestanding. So there's one, two, three there. And there's a fourth over here. They're all freestanding. They can move and they can have mirrors on both sides. We originally had these one, two, three, four, five that we put in around about eight, nine years ago now. Um, and this place has all just been kept whitewashed, so it's all white. Um, we had a bit of art put through the front, and in the corner we have here a beauty room, which we haven't really used for a while, and then in here we've got a massive spray tan booth that me and a mate built. I don't know if you can see it through there. It's got basically tiled walls all around, a little bit of a heated floor, um, and of course space to get changed and stand and do your sprays. But what I want to do now is one of the sort of things that I can do in business to look forward is I have a salon downstairs with eight chairs. We're only going to be able to use four at best, more likely three. So that means that my sort of capacity is reduced somewhat. However, we have this floor right above and it's massive. So... I've got room in here if I social distance to put maybe another four, five people with the same amount of two meter space that I need, is needed between the two. But it needs some work. It hasn't been used for a while. And I'm gonna take you through the journey of sort of what I have to do and, and how to sort of build a mini salon or alter your salon is probably the better way to say this one. Um, I've built quite a few. I'm very good at it. Um, I can do it pretty cheap um, and I know where to sort of save money and and where you're best to sort of get a professional to do it um, you know so feel free to comment downstairs have a look um, downstairs meaning underneath um, hit the like and subscribe if you want to watch my journey doing this um, and you, you know tell me if you see things that are going wrong and if you think oh that's just crap well you know it may well be but you know, this is what I do. I got into business for a thousand pounds and two chairs, which I got on eBay from China, which were absolute shit. So I ended up getting rid of them real quick. But this is business. We're in business. We get in there for as little as we possibly can and we try to maximize as much as we can possibly earn. And, and we do it whilst looking after um, teaching and encouraging the young and, um, and, and training as best we can. Um, and includes ourselves. So, first thing to do here is to a, um, clear it out. That's gonna be fun. I think we've got 20 chairs in here. That's just alone gonna be a nightmare getting them up to the third floor. But anyway, hit the like and a, um, feel free to join in and watch and a, uh, see what I can do. I'll drop in every now and then and show you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Have a good day, bye.